Brothers and sisters, peace be with you. Thank you for joining us at this press conference. We would like to share with you our uh, experience on our trip to Rome, Italy, between the 26th and the 30th October. We were invited by the Holy Father, Pope Francis, as a religious leaders of South Sudan. And we uh, came representing the South Sudanese Council of Churches under the leadership of Peter Guy. On the 27th October 2016, the Holy Father, Pope Francis, received our delegation of Archbishop Paulino Lukudu, the Metropolitans of the Archbishop of Juba, Archbishop Daniel Deng, and moderator of the Presbyterian Church in South, South Sudan and Sudan, uh, moderator Peter Gailwal, the chairman of Sudan Council of Churches, and other members. The Holy Father accepted us to come to see him, to hear from us about the situation in the South Sudan, to show the concern to encourage us that he is praying for the people of South Sudan. What he has, the holy and the health concern of the cut. He was invited before to come to South Sudan by our president when he was in Uganda. And then secondly, he was invited by the, all the bishops of the Catholic. And now the third time we have invited him as the ecumenical of all the churches in South Sudan. The Holy Father was deeply touched and expressed his concern for the suffering people of South Sudan. He appreciated the role of the church in the, in the journey toward peace in the country and also the strong spirit of ecumenism that the church is playing in South Sudan. Since he has now been invited three times, his Holy Father welcomed and accepted that he will come to South Sudan. We ask him to continue, to, con to continue in prayer to accompany the people of South Sudan and Sudan, to lead the church in peaceful and to bring peace to our country. We met with the uh, Vatican media who asked many questions about South Sudan and Sudan in the, eye, in the eyes of the world and, and to share with, with them the experience and about what we have been sharing with the, His Holy Father and ask questions about how the situation is South Sudan. Also on the 28th, also we met the, the deputy head of, uh, I mean we have the Prime Minister of Pope, which is a foreign affairs for him. Also we share with him all about our situation in the country and how they can help as the leadership in that part of the world. On the 28th, we met with the South Sudanese Ambassador, a deputy uh, of mission, uh, Mr. Maslina Mau, and we also share with them and we encourage them that they should not lose hope that soon South Sudan will have peace. We thank God that we have returned safely as well and we are praying for you, for our people, that your leaders, the joint leaders in this, under the Sudan Council of Churches, we are working hard to see to you that we have peace in this country. We have invited His Holy Father and also we have said, if possible, that they could come with the Archbishop of Canterbury to come and bless this country. So our country should have peace. We encourage our people, we encourage you not to lose hope, we encourage you to come together, we are one people as a church, we need peace in our country, we are one people, we don't need people to be pragmatic, and with this we pray with you, and God will bring peace to our country very soon. Thank you. God bless you.
Radio Bakita, 91 FM, Bakita. the voice of the church.